the results are in. According to a YouGov poll, only around half of us would take our husband's name when getting married. That's compared to almost 95% in the 90s. That's actually quite an incredible drop, isn't it, Katie? Well, yes, and I've never, ever taken the husband's surname. Even though I've, I've meant to do it, <laughs> yeah. I just never got around <laughs> to it. But then at the same time, because I've had kids now with different husbands, it's confusing because... But basically, I think, first of all, why should we have to take the man's surname anyway and why should the woman have to lose their identity of it? Number two, why can't it be double-barrelled? I wish yeah. all, all my kids had double-barrelled names because when I go to the airport... It's like we've all got different surnames. They look at me to say, what, you're the mum of all of these? Which, obviously, I am. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just think it's, it's confusing because I've got my work name. So if yeah. I changed it, you know, and things come from my work name, I think it just confuses everything. Yeah. It's not because I don't want to take their name, but then I why just, can't we mix it? I just think it's so old-fashioned. To take a man's name? Yeah, why do I need to take a man's name? It's kind of the only thing... I, I totally get it, and I, I didn't change my name, but when you have children, mm. 